Today I'm going to teach you about using photos and adding text to them. And I'll show you how to make YouTube overlays and how to create your own Facebook quote. And I'll even show you how to put a marketing image up for your blog. Okay, so first let's import a photo. Let's say you haven't posted on your Facebook page for a long time and you want to do something quickly to keep your visitors interested in your page. So let's grab a picture of a kitten. Kittens are always popular. So I happen to have one here. I can just import it by using the file import PNG or JPEG and we're going to fit it to the canvas. I just have to shrink the canvas a little bit and we can simply add our own quote. And to make it cool, we can add a little drop shadow, whatever you want. There's my meme and I can post it just like this to Facebook. You can do the same with any picture. Let's just say you happen to have your own blog image that you've taken or you've downloaded or whatever. You can add text to this just like that and upload it to your own blog. This works great for when you can't quite find the perfect image from a Google search or something. You can just create your own and add text to it with the logo creator. Another thing you can do with the logo creator and your own photos is to create your own YouTube channel art. If you make videos in YouTube, you'll notice that YouTube um, gives you the thumbnail. So you can set your own custom thumbnail, but most times people forget and they leave it so that your thumbnail is a random frame of your video. What if you wanted to make something more like this? Here's what I like to do. Let's try this video here as an example. So let's say I need to find a nice frame of my video. So I'm going to scroll until I find a frame I like. Oh, here we go, perfect. Good enough for this tutorial. And I'm gonna take a screenshot. Now on the Mac, I can use a quick keyboard shortcut to make a screen capture. On Windows, you might have to download some software, but you can Google any screen capture software. Um, there's lots of freebie stuff out there. You just have to find it. So for now, I'm gonna take a quick screenshot of my frame. Done. Go back to the logo creator and I'm going to import the screenshot and now I'm going to manipulate it a little bit. I'm going to shrink it. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Let's rotate it about like that. And I like to have a black background on my canvas. Obviously you can do anything you want. And we'll add text to it. There's a video overlay. You can put your own photo there. You can put little logo creator symbols there. And I can export this by going under the file menu and choosing export. Let's do JPEG on this one. And then back in YouTube, simply go to your video manager, find the video, edit the video, and choose custom thumbnail. Find your overlay. And there is going to eventually be the overlay for it. And now if you look back in YouTube, there, oh, there's my video overlay now. Ta-da! And I've created all of my overlays with the logo creator. I created this one. I brought in a picture of my own business cards with my logo header. I created this one by using the same method I've just shown you. I took a screenshot of a frame in the video and I added the text. It's really easy and it's really powerful. Okay. One last thing, I don't want you to forget about the grid that's built into the logo creator. It's really important and it's pretty powerful. Let's say you have a lot of text overlaying your photo and you need to line it up. So in the logo creator, there's a grid that's built into it. So first you need to click on the background. If I click here, I'm actually clicking on the picture. So I have to move the picture over just a little bit until I get to the actual blank canvas area. And you'll notice over here, it'll say format canvas click on it and I'm going to turn on the grid layout. I can increase the grid really big or really, really fine. I'll move the picture back. Now I have a grid that I can line up the text so that all of my pieces are lined up easily. Ta-da! So that's using photos with the logo creator. Thanks for watching.